You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. And according to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. We're talking about extreme smile makeovers today. And with us, we have the founder of Stubbs Dental, which is the go-to place in Utah when you want uh, a brand new upper and lower set of teeth that don't come out. We're talking about dental implants today. With us, we have Dr. David Stubbs. Dr. Stubbs, welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me. Now, you were on our program uh, about a couple of years ago. Yes. So, so what's new? And it, I think you said you're faster today, doing better today. You've got a better team. Yeah, our team's just much more experienced now than they were even two years ago. You know, when you're placing thousands of dental implants a year, it makes a big difference for your team and for your doctors that are on your team to do just the absolute best good, job good. for your patients. Now, uh, for people that don't know your center, like who's the typical dental implant patient that you well, see? Well, I like this, there's, there's two types. There's one who, they've already lost their teeth. Okay, they've, they were indentures. Sometimes these patients have been indentures for decades. Okay. And, and this is their opportunity to get permanent teeth again, once again, so second chance at that. All right. Uh, the, second, the second group are folks that uh, have loose teeth or teeth with lots of cavities or teeth that are, um, you know, some missing teeth. And you just feel like this is, it's a never ending cycle of when's the next tooth gonna, to, gonna break, when's the next tooth gonna fall out. And so we're able to replace those teeth in one day with dental implants. And, those, Fix, and a lot of these people, I mean, they go to you because they don't want dentures. They don't want right? dentures. Yeah, they don't. That, dentures uh, is just a bad option. You know, it's it's an option that's existed for hundreds of years. George Washington t had dentures, right? So I know a couple of denture wearers. Never yeah. complain. Well, they're not going to. So here's the thing, right? They're not going to tell you about the unless you're a dentist. They're not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, good point. The 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 you know the the cons uh, of of wearing a denture, but but a lot of a lot of the issues that comes with just being able to do normal things that you and I take for granted. Are there people, really, look, we think across the country, we think of yeah. Utah as being like one of the healthiest places. Are there really people headed to dentures, wearing dentures? Oh yes. A yes. lot of them? Unfortunately, you know, there's lots of different reasons. People think, you know, do only people that are, you know, drug abusers or former drug users go to you guys like, no, that's a small, I mean, there's some, but there's a small percentage. It's really a lot of folks on, with health issues, you know, with, with differing, um, you know, prescribed medications, they dry your mouth out, teeth Is have right? issues. You know, you know, health issues like diabetes and, and other uh, autoimmune diseases just cause, wreak havoc on our teeth are, are, over are years. Are the patients getting older and older? Like the, since well, I last, you think yeah, you think about this. Um, you know, we have young patients too, Randy. But we have a lot of patients that you know are in their middle ages. You know, forties, fifties, and sixties. Um, and then we have some that are in their thirties and even twenties. And we also have a lot that are in their seventies, eighties, and nineties. What's your oldest patient? Ninety-two years old. Why would a ninety-two-year-old want to do this? You know, she told we we asked her after the fact why she did it. What, what was her main reason for doing it? She says. You know, Doc, I haven't been able to eat and chew and smile normally for years, for, for decades. She said it had been 20, 30 years since she'd been able to do that. She said, I'm finally able to do this. I love that I can chew steak again. I love that I can chew, I can bite into an apple. That's good. That's she just, nice. she, just she, she, she was just overjoyed with it. The, and, and by the way, so somebody, so if 92, yeah. so an 80 year old or 75 year old, do they ever say, hey Doc, I'm too old for this? All the time, yeah. It, it's just not the case. It, it's you know, it's it's not. They can they have you know even if they have just a few years left, you know, think about the quality of life difference for that person, the, the quality of health, you know, that they can have. You know, a lot of these issues, people can't break their foods down, so they're having digestive issues. You know, okay. I had a patient the other day who's in liver failure, never drank any alcohol his whole life, but he's in liver failure because he hasn't been able to break his food down, so his liver is overworking, and it's it's it's, it's a real thing. There's real medical issues that are caused by not having well-functioning teeth. What do they like more? Do they like the way it looks, look or the way they can eat and chew? It, it just depends on the patient, but I, you see both. I, I definitely see both and a lot, for a lot of patients, it is both, you know? I mean, they, a lot of them don't wanna say, you know, I, they don't wanna be vain, right? We yeah. don't, I'm not doing this for, for, the, for the looks, for the cosmetics, but, but I think there's something to be said about being nat looking everything looking natural or the way it used to be when they had perfectly functioning teeth they don't want to look unnatural and sometimes you know these loose fitting teeth or broken down teeth or missing teeth that looks unnatural so they're trying to get things back to where hey when I was healthy 
but but for a big part of those folks too, they want to be able to chew and eat things. You know, for me, it's not hard to go in and take an apple and bite into it, or eat salads or raw vegetables. You know, but for these patients, it is. They have to cut things up or steam it, cook it down, so they can so they can mush it or 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 you know, so it's not that hard. Now you do it very quickly. So if somebody's watching it today, maybe yeah. they need a full mouth of extractions or they have a loose fitting denture. If everything works out and if the, you, let's just pretend that you have yeah. an opening in your, in your schedule. Yeah. They're watching it today, the day after tomorrow, they could have a brand new set of upper and lower teeth that don't yes. come out. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you have, now you do everything in house, right? Yeah. Like there's you have your own labs, you're there's, making the teeth there. There's technology today where we can scan teeth get everything ready for surgery next day. If, if there's availability so you make the in the teeth schedule. There. Yeah. Like what, do you have like printers or mills or what so, is it? So both, we have, but the, the printers are more for, uh, just for trying in the teeth, but the mills is what makes actually the strong teeth. It's, it's the teeth that we put in the, actual, put in the mouth and that okay, good. patients now, actually Now, you brought use. some photos. What yes. are we looking at? Uh, well, we have uh, patients that have gone through this process with us. There's our actual patients uh, and just different situations as far as their, their clinical background. Okay. So this gentleman came to us with really bad teeth and one of his options was a denture. And that's something we could have given him. It's what you know a lot of places would give him, but we were able to give him upper and lower teeth, permanent, supported by dental implants. That don't come out. That don't come out. So this, he looks good. He looks awesome, yeah. Now look at the before and after. He All looks right. younger. That's true. Some patients say 10 years younger they feel, you know, and they look in the mirror, but look at that. He also looks more handsome. Teeth make people okay. look more That's attractive. True. Now, these people, you say that they have to learn how to smile. What do you mean by that? So when you haven't had teeth for you know years, sometimes decades, that, that you're guarding, you know, you smile instead of like, like this, you smile like this. Mouth closed. You know, mouth closed, lip kind of lower these people have to learn how to smile again. And sometimes it takes, you know, a compliment or two compliments or 20 compliments and they start that lip slowly inches up because, oh, I have natural looking teeth again. I can smile, I can, you know, function normally that way. So people like this gentleman have a tough time eating. It hurts sometimes to eat steak or anything hard because it gets jabbed in the gums. Now he can chew everything normally. He's got full set of functioning teeth. Can he bite like the, like with his front two teeth like a, Corn on the cob, or an apple, or that's a the carrot. Thing. That's the thing. All those things, all the above. Yes. Do you hear a lot of eating stories? So the Did first they ever say, time, Doctor Stubbs. I mean, are you sure I could eat already? Yeah. So going into it right there, first time getting those teeth, they're a little nervous about doing that. But we we assure them, you know, you know, try one thing first. You know, you get used to to doing this. You haven't done this for years and years, right? Sometimes decades and go, go ahead and go for it. And coming back, hearing those, that excitement, it's fun. So this patient, I like to talk about him because he was a, the other example where he has no teeth. He's been in dentures for a while now. Do they show up sometimes with no teeth? They no teeth, they don't wanna wear the denture anymore. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's so uncomfortable. I mean, a denture feels like a hockey puck in your mouth. It's, it's just, it's really bulky, doesn't, doesn't fit, doesn't, uh, it's not attached to your, your, your jaw like, like implants are. So it's, it's just something that they really um, are looking for a new solution. So in one afternoon, he shows up and he leaves that same day with teeth. You know, no, no next day or no next week or no next six months. He leaves with teeth that are permanently fixed in his mouth same day. And you, now you're not a big fan of the snap in, snap out teeth. No, no, no. And a lot of the ads, we were talking, that's what they're doing. Well, well Randy, the thing is, that's, that's a denture. It's it's a little bit strong. It's a little bit more secure than a denture, or because it has implants attached to it. But it's still a denture. So this lady came to us. She had again teeth, but failing teeth, bleeding gums, really, really inflamed gums, a lot of infection, and she was ready to say, "Look, I don't want. I don't go into dentures. I don't want to go to dentures." And so we gave her this option: dental implants, new teeth natural gum lines. They look natural, by Natural way. gum lines, important. So here's the thing, with, with the way we do these teeth replacements, we can replace the natural gum line. It's not, you know, when a lot of people do implants, you, you don't see the gums because the gums don't look natural. It looks like a bunch of receded gums and unnatural looking, long looking horse teeth up against the gums. So this is a way we can do it where it's natural looking. Same thing here, very similar now, situation. Now everybody we're showing, these are people that yeah. could have been wearing dentures, but chose to get upper and lower teeth that don't come out. Yeah, these are people that okay. that 
you know, they were going to dentures, you know, in the next... That's a happy guy. Yeah, he, so he has teeth. Again, lots of crowns, but failing. You know, he has root canals, abscesses. This gentleman had a lot of um, uh, just lethargy, you could call it. He, he talked about not having energy, not, have, not being able to do the normal things without being, feeling tired all the time. But after he got his surgery done, after we took out all that infection that was existing underneath all those teeth that okay. were failing, we, we remove all that infection in one surgery, all of a sudden he's like, okay, I'm sore after surgery, but I feel energy again. I feel, so I your feel, body's not I having feel to fight healthy. that infection. Yeah, it, Interesting. It, it, okay. that wears on the immune system. So I tell patients that have a lot of infection, they're going to feel some type. Over time, you know, that infection isn't super painful, but it wears on the immune system. So getting rid of all that, especially all in one day, one surgery. But what if you have really bad gums? I mean, if somebody has bad gums, can they still do this? I mean, that's why they're losing their teeth in that's, the first place. That's the exact reason. Yeah, so these people have gum disease. I want you to look at something. Look at that after. Okay. This was by design. Look at how the teeth are online. He chose that and we were able to, to give him by you know a digital design and then an in-person design. He's able to see everything before he went to those teeth and able to prove it. So our patients go through this customized approach. No, no cookie cutter like trust us, we'll do whatever you want. He gets to choose all of that. And you can see the natural gum line. You can see exactly, he wanted the teeth that, to line up exactly like that. It looks that. natural. It looks very natural. And it's, it looks like him. You know, a lot of these patients bring in pictures from years, years ago when they had healthy teeth before they got all the crowns and the gum disease. And we're able to match that a lot of the times. Next patient right here. You know, a lot of these patients are missing back teeth, but this, wow. this particular patient was wearing a flipper for many years. He was what, told he couldn't. What? Some, oh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's teeth that it's like, a, it's like a miniature denture. It's like teeth that come in and come out. It's okay. a removable set of front teeth, basically. And what, what happened with him is, you know, people said, you didn't have enough bone to put implants in the front to replace them. And so we, he started having issues with his back teeth. And we looked at him like, you're, an, you're a candidate for this full teeth replacement. So we look at it, and in one day, you see the after picture. Very nice. In the after picture, he doesn't just have good front teeth now that are on dental implants, but he also has back teeth that aren't gonna you know, break down on him in the next five years. Now, these people, they're of course numbed up, but you're giving sedation to every yes, one of these yes. people. They go under, they, yes, they go under general sedation, general anesthesia. So they're, it's a very safe procedure. We have a separate provider that comes in. That's nice. They do, they, so like IV sedation? Yes, yes. They go, they have, Is it true they don't even remember sometimes? They won't remember a thing, yeah. In fact, there's retrograde amnesia that they forget even before, a little bit before the appointment. We have to remind them of their instructions or their family member of their instructions after the surgery, how to take care of things. Okay, good. Time for a few more. Okay, sounds good. Again, another gentleman, same day. These are same day pictures, some of them. Uh, he, again, missing teeth. Uh, the rest of the teeth that were in his mouth were not in good shape. So in one day, we're able to give him new teeth on dental implants. This particular gentleman had, again, had teeth, but malaligned teeth and teeth not in good shape. A lot of teeth were, uh, some of that is denture teeth. Okay. That he's in impartial. And in the same day, we're able to give him something that's permanent. It's fixed on dental implants, and it's the color he wanted, the, the natural color. Uh, what happens is over the years, teeth, uh, as we get older, they get darker. And, you know, he's like, you know, I don't want to mess with bleaching or anything like that. And I already know I need new teeth. You know, I've already been told I need dentures, so uh, what can you do? And we were able to give him, in one fell swoop, new teeth that look natural and natural color. Okay, good. And I know, look, we were talking in the green room, but you want to make, I said, what do you want to make sure you get across? That and one of the things you said is that these are zirconia teeth, that, that they're very strong. They're yeah. not these resin materials yeah. that you say is happening a lot yeah. in Utah. Yeah, yeah, it's really important uh, when, when we talk you about- You say they break. Yeah, so re anything that's resin that's not zirconia is, is gonna break. It, it's, it's just not as long lasting. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna do one of two things. First, it's gonna wear down. If you're, you're biting or chewing or even clenching your teeth, it's gonna just wear down. It's gonna flatten up. Then so why do they do it that not, way? It's not why do look, they do it that way? It, it's just to save a dollar. It's, it's really to save money. The it, dentist it, could save some money. Save some money. Uh, they look nice still up front, but it's in, in uh, it's just not gonna last them is the issue. So we, you know, after you've done thousands of these, you know what is the best material I for mean, the patient. I mean, you've done thousands of these, right? We've done thousands of these. Yeah, that's, that's what's cool. We're able to see and affect the lives of, of thousands of patients in this way.
Now you have like on, t- on your team, you have like oral surgeons, you have other specialists, uh, and this is all you do. I mean, this is like the focus. Yes, this is all steps, we do. Yeah, right? we, we do. We don't do cavities and fillings really. Or veneers, is, things is, like that. This is our bread and butter. Now, if a patient comes to us, this is not their only option. You know, if they need veneers, they need, uh, they at least need single implants, we offer that as well. We're not just a one-stop shop, only offer you this. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I kind of heard you say that many places, uh-huh. in fact, you said the most advertised places, they do one thing, pull out all your teeth, give you implants. That's and the, you, if you could save teeth, you said, you're going to do it. Well, that's the thing. Saving yeah, money. We, we, if we want to make sure that we're not just doing a, a cookie cutter approach. It has to be a customized approach to that patient. Sometimes patients don't need this whole procedure, so we need to make, we need to make sure So you will we, save teeth if you can. We give them, of course, of course. We need to make sure that we're giving them all the options. So okay. patients get to choose amongst a myriad of options when it comes to the best options. And sometimes, you know, health history or, you know, what kind of medications they're on dictate those options. Because we want, we're not just talking about their options now, but what will be their options if you had a, a lens of five, 10, 15 years down the road, you know, how would that change your mind and your decision making? So we want to make sure we really provide that, that, uh, okay, good. that option. Good, good. Time for another photo. Okay, this particular, again, loose teeth, you know, missing teeth, and going to dentures. Basically, that's, that's, that's going to be your option in the, in the near future. And she realizes this, come, it finds us, knows that we're an option that you don't have to be in dentures. And, and um, you know, get, same day, new teeth, you know, same afternoon, where you can smile naturally, you can even, you know, see there's a little bit of lip numbness and things like that, but, you know, same, same day and new smile. All of my patients have one big regret. What is that? Why didn't I do this sooner? Really? Yeah, sometimes it's just, they just keep putting it off. It's, and, it, and it's, yeah. Because people don't want to go to the dentist. Yeah, right. It's, it's sometimes guys. We so, put it off until we're in so much pain. Is well, that what goes on? Well, sometimes, yeah. It, unless they absolutely have to go, they they wait until that time. But sometimes they haven't been. It's been 10, 20 years since they've been to the dentist, or five years, or even a year. And they're like, I don't want to know what's going on. So they put it off, and then things get worse and worse and worse. This gentleman again, worn down teeth. You know, it been a grinder uh, a lot of his life. And so what happens is when there's no teeth left to chew with, things start breaking down. So broken down teeth, ground down teeth, and again, able to get him new teeth, same day. He gets to pick the teeth, goes through the process of knowing exactly what it's gonna look like on day of surgery. Nothing's rushed. Uh, it's, it's really important that uh, their final teeth also have that strong material for someone like him. You know, you think about it, he, someone who grinds their teeth all the time, if they don't have that zirconia teeth, that, that, that strong material, that, that material is three times the strength of our natural teeth that okay. we have. So if they don't have that, they're gonna, they're gonna break. Do you so ever, it's really important that long that So on these consults, time. on these consults, they're telling you their problems. Mm-hmm. Do you ever get excited like, they have no idea how good this is gonna be? I know, I wish I could. Does that it, ever happen to you? Yes, all the time, every day. So like they have low expectations. They just wanna be able to out of pain and be able to eat. Well, here's the thing, if I could, let any patient test drive this process. You know, what I mean, when you go through surgery, you know, you go through that process, right? But if I could have any patient test drive this, there would be no, no one would. Everybody would, turn would do it. They would all do it. That's the thing. Is this true? There's not even enough dentists in Utah. If everybody that had bad teeth that could benefit, if they all figured it out, I mean, there's. That, that's that's the issue. Yeah, there's there's not a, there's so many people, not just in Utah, but all over the country, all over the world. They don't have the teeth, and our, our job, our mission has always been, let's do this for as many people as possible. Let's, let's make this possible for as many people as we can. And if they're just tuning in, and again, I'm not trying to side with you, but you're less than all the big guys in Utah. And that's the reason. And I, you do more than anybody. Well, I talked about at the beginning of the show is as a stewardship. If you're doing more than anyone, it's, it, I think it's a responsibility you have to make this as accessible as possible. Good, good for you. I'm gonna rush you, because okay. I know you have a bunch of photos, and we have okay. about two minutes left. Yeah, so here's another gentleman, again, um, lots of missing teeth. He actually, in fact, could have been in a partial denture, uh, wanted something that was a full set and something that looked natural and even with each other. So that's what we were able to provide. We were able to get him a, a natural looking full set of teeth with this procedure. Randy, look at the before and after. Does he look younger? That's true, yes. Does he look healthier? Yeah. 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 Does he look happier? Yeah. Looks more handsome. 
That's that's what's even more educated. This is what this is what this procedure provides for people that are in the situation. And there's a lot more than than um, than you would think. You know that, that are in this situation. They just they just smile like this all day long. They, you know they'll, they'll cover their teeth. Can you spot it as a dentist around Utah? You're looking at people going, they're all, hiding their teeth all the time, all the time. In fact, my father was. You said you talked to your father. My my father also, um, you know, had. Uh, you know, so, some teeth that just were discolored and we were able to help him out. So we have people that come to us and, you know, they can't even bite into a sourdough sandwich, you know, or, or anything that's, that we, that you and I take for granted. And, and so this procedure provides them that opportunity to be able to do that. So he can eat whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. I mean, are, so this, on this before photo, mm -hmm. that looks very unusual. Yeah, but in so your office, that's he, not unusual. No, we have people come in missing teeth all the time. So sometimes they're wearing, again, they're either hiding their teeth uh, and sometimes they have some type of, you know, like a, like a miniature denture, basically, basically a few teeth that they just pop in, they can pop it out when they want to eat, that kind of thing. But this is their, this is their final product when they get their teeth that are the zirconia teeth we're talking about, after things have healed and that kind of thing. So they, and, and how soon could you eat after the procedure? So I have patients eating right after, I just tell them to be careful you know, with, with, with their gums a underneath. softer at the beginning. Well, here's the thing, the gums underneath, you know, we, we've just done surgery, so their gums are still healing underneath these teeth. So we need to make sure they don't get anything stuck in there. So I, I say softer foods, nothing that's gonna get stuck underneath. Okay, next, this is a younger patient. Again, some of these patients that we see Jeez. are younger. You know, and the teeth aren't, they look bad, but he's got missing teeth in the back, and a lot of the teeth in the front, again, decayed, worn down, um, you know, again, options. So those are new teeth supported by dental implants. New teeth supported by dental and those, implants. He's a young guy. He, these can last into his 70s, 80s if he yes. takes care of them. Yes, these they're, they're, dental implants don't get decayed. So we, you have to take care of the body, take care of the mouth. You know, we want to make sure there's no gum tissue that issues, you know, like, meaning, you know, we don't want to, we want to keep, you know, everything clean. Next one, again, we, this patient needed dentures, again. Uh, missing teeth, uh, loose teeth, gums are inflamed, and again, able to to, to replace his teeth with with new. Breeds. And this is all. Do, 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 do people like couples come in? Like first the husband does it, then the wife does it, or the wife does it first, so, then the so husband. So I would say uh, yes, uh, probably about once a month you'll have someone say they're going to do it first, I'm going to do it second, or we're going to do it at the same time. Can you give us a two for one or something like that? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Now, I can't help but look at this next one. I mean, that, that's pretty dramatic. Yeah. So this patient's young again, and she chose to have a, 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 a smile showing her gums, her natural smile before they they uh, before they had the issues that she dealt with. Uh, she had gum. She showed well, she's gums. She's got to feel good about this result. Oh, she loved it. Yeah. I got a job interview well, or whatever. Here's the thing. It's, it's like a different person. She chose her smile. That's the thing is, that's I, I can't say that enough. It's really important that these patients, after you've done a lot of these, you really learn that, hey, it's not our job to decide exactly how, you know, we, we have parameters, but they need to be able to decide exactly how much gums they show, the shape and okay. color of their teeth. Okay, that's good. really important. Good for you. Time for a couple more. Yeah, so this patient, again, very young. Oh wow! Teeth are are completely gone. There, there, there's still roots there, but the teeth have been eaten up by decay. Uh, but, but in the same day, she was one of those that uh, she, you know she just uh, her expression was an expletive when she saw it. She, like she couldn't believe it. It was like That's it was nice. just super surprised. I know it was. Like, I wish we had it on camera, but she she was just super surprised when she saw her teeth. It's like she looked so different, new person. So Brandy, just so you know uh, that. These patients aren't unclean. You know, some of them, like I said earlier, you know, they, they've been on medications or they have bacterial infections. You know, you can brush and clean all day long, and you're still going to have these issues. Okay. So that's really important to know that we don't judge because they're patients. very embarrassed. You said. Yeah. Some of them yeah. Are so it's it's definitely you know one of the things we talk about in our in our team and, and amongst our, our different um, offices is is we have to be a no judgment zone because we don't know where these people came from, and a lot of them, you know, it's not no fault of their own. It's bad genetics. You know, okay. so we have to make sure and that the patients know that and feel that. It's really important. This last one, again, same thing. Uh, wow. She's in a denture. Oh my goodness. Uh, so this is without her dentures. I don't know if she really wore her denture very much. She had a lower partial denture and an upper full denture, but hated it. And those teeth in the after are, they're permanently in her mouth. They're not I, coming out at night. Anybody kind of watching this, this doesn't even look like the same person. 
Yeah, that it one's almost a, looks like she. That could have been the mother of the of the after. Yeah, it, it, seriously, it takes ten to twenty years off in some cases where they've just lost their teeth, and, and it's it's um, it's sad. You know, one thing I've learned over the last two years we, since we were talking about is the empathy and just seeing the amount of patients that go through this. You know, it's it's a, it's not a good place to be for for a lot of people. They can't get a job. They can't function normally. They, you know, it's they're completely. They're always guarding their mouth. You know, they can't be healthy when it comes to what they consume. Uh, so this, just to be able to see these people go through this is just that's the favorite part. It's exciting. Now we have to mention this, that even the best dental insurance really doesn't cover dental implant dentistry. Medicare, Medicaid doesn't cover this at all. Yeah, we we work with people, Randy. You know, we there, there's options for financing, uh, but our our job is to make it work for everyone. Now you're thousands less, and I got to bring this up again because yeah. I think to me this is important. Maybe it, I mean I think it's important to anybody that you're thousands less sometimes than what you see on television or a lot yeah. of the advertised guys on TV. Yeah, sometimes in Utah, is sometimes that true? ten to twenty thousand less. So so it, it's be, it's just because we have a volume and you do it in house. Yeah, we have a volume like that we're able to, that we keep in house that we have the whole process. In, in one spot. That makes a big difference for our patients. But we also work with people. We're very, very it's, it's really important that, you know, we don't need a 50% profit or something. How often do they finance? Every day, all, all the time. You know, that's the thing. We have a, have a team of people that will work with them and, and help them get through that process. So it's, it's really tailored to that patient. Always specific and customized to that patient. So no more dentures or removable flippers or teeth? Yeah, no more dentures or partial dentures. Do you think you can wipe it out dentures. in Utah? You know, that's, that's, our, that's our mission. That's our goal, is to really provide this for the absolute best value for our patients. We're out of time. Let's say somebody's watching this. They've even seen you on TV before. They've heard of Stubbs Dental, yeah. right? Everybody has, apparently, in Utah. But for whatever reason, they're still skeptical. They hate their teeth, have a tough time chewing, mm -hmm. but for whatever reason, they're afraid. What do you say to them? I invite them in. I say, come, you know, let us look at your options, you know, look at your options. You know, we, okay. our job is to give you options. We're not to talk you into the all, you know, this procedure with implants or, or um, you know, anything else, but we want to give you the options. Are you doing it at the highest level? Like all the technology, et cetera, that's, that's available? In that's the most important. When you do as many as we do, you have to do it at the highest level. That's, that's, that's absolutely important. That's, uh, that's what we do. Is it true you travel around the country learning new stuff about dental implants? That's that's always. Uh, I mean, is there that much all, to it? All of our doctors are very, very well trained in this. They all have taken courses all over the country, uh, sometimes out of country. So yeah. You have the dream team, you say. Yeah, that's. You believe that? I'm very proud of our team, not just our doctors, but also everything down the line. Because not just doctors that patients deal with when they come, they they deal with. Uh, the, the clinical team. They all know about implants. They all know. They're all office. very, very, they're all very, very well trained. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Good stuff. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. You've been watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.